Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining the class. And um, <clears throat> let us recap what we did in the class yesterday. So in the class yesterday in the CRM, the very first thing which we did was SAP CRM cycle. In the SAP CRM cycle, we basically did end-to-end -end CRM exercise in which we created a lead. On the basis of lead, we created the opportunity. And then on the basis of opportunity, we created sales quotation. And on the basis of sales quotation, we created sales order. These are these are some of the transactions which we did in SAP. Okay. Then we did some configuration. We did the configuration of sales document type. We did the configuration of item category. We did the configuration of item category determination. These three configuration, configuration of doc type, configuration of item category, configuration of item category determination. These configurations are conceptually same in SD and also in CRM. So it is conceptually in the same exercise or same uh, configuration on both sides. The concept of sales document type, concept of item category, concept of item category determination, the exercise which we did, if we understand, we can apply conceptually on the both sides, fairly similar. Then we also did a configuration of copy control. The concept of copy control is also same on both sides. So concept of copy control is same in SD and is same in CRM. Same concept applies on both sides. We also, copy control is done at the header level. So we do copy control at the doc type to doc type. We also did copy control at the item level, at the item category level. So in order for copy control to work, we need to have a copy control at the both levels, at the header level, at the doc type to doc type level. And you can also have an item level, which is item category to item category. Level. So, copy control needed to be at both levels, at the document type level and also at the item category level, which we did yesterday. We did the testing and all that. Then we did the configuration of tax determination. Tax are a comment field or note field using a Tax determination, we can create a different kind of text or different kind of comments in the system so that uh, is very helpful. So the text determination is helpful from that perspective. And that configuration of text determination is also constant between SD and CRM. 
in which we basically configured a new text determination procedure. So we did that. So we configured a new text determination procedure. We configured a new, and we make a change to that procedure. And we assign that text determination procedure to the document type. So text determination procedure can be assigned at the both levels. So text determination procedure can be assigned as header level. So we assign to the transition type. If you want text determination procedure at the item level, then we assign that to the item category. So the text determination procedure, in fact, can be assigned at both level, header level and item level. Another, in the last exercise which we did yesterday <clears throat> was related to tax profile or status profile. The status profile basically provides an status. So status profile basically provide the status. The status is defined at the both level. So, the status profile <clears throat> there are two kind of uh, status which we can have in ACB. And these are the some of the exercises which we did yesterday. Some of the configuration, status profile, text profile, copy control, sales doc type, item category, and item category determination. These are some of the configurations which we did with the SAP yesterday. Now, interesting part is that uh, when we're doing uh, all these different uh, configurations. Okay, unit number six, we can talk about activity management. Now, activity management is an interesting concept. Different kind of activity you can do in SAP CRM. So, like if you talk about the senior management, a lot of sales people, inquiry or quotation or sales order or opportunity or lead. These are all various sales transactions. Obviously, people might be doing them as well. But a lot of people, when they are in their office, they do a lot of activities, phone calls, email, widgets, customer visiting them, they're visiting customer, doing demo, making presentation. <clears throat> So all those different type of activities are the one which a lot of customers end up doing in the system. So emails, tasks, others, different type of activities. Make a note of these two bullet points which I highlighted, business activity and the task. So all activities 
in SAP CRM divided into two categories. One is called business activity. The second one, second one is called tasks. Make a note of the both. So business activity and tasks. So activities are divided into two categories. One is called business activity. Second one is called Now, what is the difference between the two? Which one is used where? Which one is used where? So business activity is the one where we have a business partner. In the task, there is no business partner. So that is the difference between business activity and the task is the structure technical perspective business activity is also like a transaction like sales order like quotation like opportunity so technically it is nothing but a transaction where you can have a header and notes and attachment, date, questionnaire, organization, action, attendee, all those different terms. But technically, it is a business transaction. Make a note of that statement. Business activity business activity has a business partner, that is mandatory. So the business activity, you have to have a business partner. So that is there. You have to have business partner. How do you enter the business activity? That is how we see in the transaction where we can create uh, So we create a business activity. So the important thing is business activity are two categories. Business activity has a partner and task does not have a, uh, any business partner. These activities are a different set of transaction which you can have in SAP CRM. There is no equivalent of those activities in a there is no equivalent of those activities in a SAP SD. 
now we're talking about customizing activity and a special activity transaction now if you see that here if make a note of that statement activities are um, so we have transaction type and then we can define different categories so when you took all the all these uh, activities budgets appointments calls emails in sap they are this they are created as a transaction type So that is why we can have some transaction type, which you can define in the SAP system. <clears throat> so we have a transaction as zero zero one, for example, for business. Same thing, you can define transaction type to categories, and you can do customization for header level. The same thing as we did before, so we can define the configuration also in the same way. all of activity these activities can be created as a follow up now what is the meaning of the follow up activity if we take a business example so i create a quotation and the business face to quotation i want to make a phone call i want to verify so if i want to do a follow up activity so that would be an example of a follow up activity which we can do in the sap system So I have a quotation. I make a phone call to the customer. Call up activity. I have opportunity. I make a visit to the customer to do a demo. Call up activity. I have a sales order. I send a confirmation email. Call up activity. So we can do different activity. Now, activity doesn't need to be follow up. you can create activities independently also so you can create activities as a follow up to other activities like you can do a activity as a follow up to a quotation <clears throat> to a sales order to a opportunity or any other transaction then you can also create then you can also create activities without reference to any other transaction as well so you can create activities so you can create a follow up transaction so let's do in some exercises i want to do activity exercise in the activity exercise i want to create a quotation and then i want to create an activity with reference to quotation so we go back <clears throat> the 
will be create a quotation. I select my partner. Okay. So we get a quotation. Transaction saved. Okay. Now, if you see here, I can create a business activity. There are different, if I want to create appointment. A business activity here called appointment. System automatically call my activity, my contact person, my person responsible. So all that data get automatically copied. Get the customer location, region. Sales promotion, goal, get out of place. It has a partner information. You see, fundamentally, opportunity is also, uh, sorry, activity is also nothing but a transaction. So here we have partner, sales contract, employee. The same way we have a text where you can type any comment as you want. You have a questionnaire if you want to evaluate. So you can define questionnaires also. Go to relationship. Can you see that here? The system keep track. That previous quotation here, attachment, if I want to attach any document, address, and then if I save it. So transaction saved. Now if I go back to the copy control, so this is what we have. So a quote, we have appointment. Now this is an example of creating an appointment with reference to a course. I have a quote and after quote, I want to create an appointment. So we can do all these different exercises in this fashion. All these different exercises we can do.
<laughs> integration of questionnaire, we saw that you can integrate questions in it. This is the menu part where you can create your questions. There is something called uh, activity journal. Activity journal basically means it's like a meeting minute. So like if you had a visit to the customer, then uh, how will you, you can record all the interaction. So Activity Journal can contain list of the products. It can contain, so this product discussed, this product discussed, number of sample given eight, number of sample given two, priority high, priority medium. Customer is considering ordering this in the second quarter of 2007. So you can put a meeting minute so you can keep track. So that is an example of uh, Activity Journal. Integration of the calendar, integration of the client to groupware, that basically means you can integrate the um, SAP um, CRM to the groupware, means calendar. For example, in the groupware, two important groupware. One is Microsoft Office or Outlook, and the second one is Lotus Notes. So for example, what is the meaning of that is? Let's say you're doing activity or widget. So you would like that activity and widget also integrated with your calendar as well. So that is where you can define that integration. Now if you see here there, could be integration on servers. See that is a bi-directional integration. Okay. So there's a bi-directional integration which you can do. I would like you guys to make a note of this line. This such. Make a note of these two lines. Please. So integration with the group here. There is an activity monitor. It's just a report. If you go back. And if you go to activities, so there's activity monitor. So it's a transaction where you can uh, see a uh, list of your activities. So that's where uh, activity monitor comes into the picture where you can see your different activities. If I go to activity one, you want to see your activities. So we can have all these different activities. Open activities. Other reports also. You want to know my activities. All. So these are my activities. So we see that the leaves are, the edition, there's meeting, customer, whatever. So these are the different activities which has been created by me. Okay. 
So that is how we have all these different activities created. So we, <clears throat> what basically we did, we ran activity monitor. Activity monitor is just a transaction where you can see list of activity open, activity close activities and all that. So all of that you can do with the activity monitor. That is where you see this here. Monitor. You can also see my incomplete activities. So these are all open activities. You can see my incomplete activities. If incomplete activities of my team, interactivity of my colleagues. Okay. So those are various activities, etc., which you can do with the SAP system yeah. Yeah. there is something called uh, interactive report for activity which basically means we want to create a report <coughs> where you can see the activity so you define certain business role and then you can create some activity for that. Create a new transaction type for activity, create added to new activities. Okay. I want to create an activity. Without reference. I want to create activity without reference. So I've created an activity with reference, and now I want to create an activity without reference. So if I go back here, I go to maintain activity. Then I go to locator. And if you go to business transactions, you have all these business activities. So these are all different uh, business activities you can do. So let's say I want to create an appointment. So I want to create business activity called appointment. And these are various transactions actually. So I want to create business activity appointment. This is appointment. So this is a customer appointment. Now, because it's without reference of business partner, that is not being updated. So you enter the business partner or the contact person. Okay. Enter. It's a feature 10 finger location the customer location, priority, high, medium, low. And then what is the region for sales promotion, why you want to do, you know, understand you know, service fulfillment or whatever. You get a partner information, you get a tax information, you get a questionnaire, you get a relationship. Now there's no object here because if this document is not created with reference to any other object. So you cannot create uh, any relationship here. And uh, attachment, if you go to address, organization, and then this is it. So what we did, we created transaction 111. So 
Similarly, if I want to create, uh, if I go to let's say business activity, I create appointment. If I want to go, I don't know, means customer visit, whatever that is. This is a customer visit. So we say customer visit. Okay. Which customer we are visiting? Meeting in coffee shop. The region, goals, and then we can have activity, text. And now here we have a activity journal which we're talking about. So if I want to enter an activity journal, so I can enter activity journal. That here, so any product which has been defined. Number of sample one discussed, yes. And then we save it. So one 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 three customer widget has been created. So what we did? Create an activity without reference, and we call it customer visit. Now, if we go back here, and here. All these different activities are there. Incoming call, store visit, whatever. Now, let's say I have a task here. I want to create a task. We have a task. Now, in the task, there is no business partner. Task is office meeting with the staff. And um, meeting place, conference room, in process, so what we did, we created a task similarly you can create as many activities as you want create a task now I want to configure an activity doc type so so we're gonna config a new activity doc type then we're gonna test it so that's what we're gonna do That is what we would like to do. So we cannot test it. So now for the configuration, we go to SPRO. So we go to customer relationship management. Good transactions, the same, same, same place. 
where we configure quotation same so different transaction type so here we have all these so let's say i have a So appointments, the copy. And I want to create a new appointment. What are the document have we created? G15. Okay. Copy. <clears throat> Hit enter. Hit copy and I came to the name. So we have a transaction type ZA15. We have to transaction type ZA15. Now I want to test it. So for the testing, slash and I go to maintain activity. Go to maintain activity. Go to the activity here. And this is 11, 16, 19. This is the same thing. Is a copy actually. And this is it. The grid appointment, it worked fine. Everything is, is good. We created it. Transaction type GA50. Now we're going to take a 10 minutes break. We'll talk over 10 minutes. So, 10 minute break now, guys. I'm back now. Continue with the next topic. Partner processing. Partner processing, some part of that we also learned. We did in SD also. Same concept applies. Every transaction which we have, whether it's a sales order, whether it's a quotation, whether it's an opportunity or lead or different activities, all these different transactions which we did in SD, and all these different transactions which we did in CRM. In all of them, in all of them, we had something called business partner. Some business partner are important, critical, mandatory, some are not. So, for example, sold to party, ship to party, bill to party, pair. And then some could be mandatory, some could be optional. And you can define which partner you want, which partner you don't want. But every transaction will have business partners. Every transaction will have business partner. That is important because when we talk about a transaction, we need to have a 
business transaction in it. There is called business partners. So in every transaction, whatever transaction we have, there is something called business partner and we talked about that so so here in the transaction Which partners are in external partner are involved? External partner base means sold to ship to build to pair. Which internal partner are involved? Internal means sales rep, sales customer, sales employees, customer service rep. So these are the internal business partners. Which partner must be involved? Must be basically mean. What is what business partners is mandatory? So we can talk about that as well. We discuss that too. And then where does the system look for the partners involved. So when you're looking for the partner, some partner come automatically. Now let us say, I'm creating a quotation. It's similar to quotation which we did, we created before. So we do the same sort of, right? Now, if I'm going to business partner, if I hit enter, Now, if you go to partner tab here, now if you see, there is a sold to party, there is a ship to party, there is a bill to party, there is a pair. These employee responsible one, two, three, four, five. Five partners are, and uh, we can do that as well. Now, if you go here, there's a red color here. Okay. 
So we have a sales employee header data which is mandatory, red color. So this is a sales employee here. So we have a sales employee here. And it's mandatory. If I put a sales employee, then the error message goes away. So it's mandatory. So this is external, this is external. So we, that is how we can partner determination controls various partner processing. Make a note of that statement which I highlighted. Make a note of that statement please, which I highlighted. I've logged in. I don't know what's going on with the internet. Okay. So here, uh, when we talk about the partner processing also, the same concept. There's a partner determination procedure which has a partner function, access sequence. Every partner function has the category. Um, so you can have a different different partner function, sort to ship to, build to, pair. You can have a different different partner function. So So we can do, now if we look at partner function categories are predefined, it's, it's very similar to that um, product category we talked about. We can have a partner category also, and partner category are predefined in the system. Partner function, sold to ship to build to pair is a partner function. There could be many partner functions. You can define as many as you want. It's the same procedure, which we talked in, uh, SG also, so there's a procedure, um, procedure is a different functions. So this describes, so there is a partner function category, every partner function has a category, then is a partner function, so media manager, sales manager, sales employee, you can, partner functions are freely definable, so that basically means you can define as many partner functions as you want. Partner function categories are predefined. Partner function categories cannot be defined again. They are predefined. So they are predefined. This is the menu path where uh, you can define partner function. We're going to go there. Now I want to do an exercise, partner function exercise. In partner function exercise, first verify doc transaction type linked to partner procedure. Secondly, review partner procedure definition. So what kind of configuration is behind? Config a new 
ordinal procedure. Amend this new ordinal procedure. Amend this new partner procedure. Then assign partner procedure. Assign partner procedure to transaction type. And then verify in sales or uh, in sales cohesion. Okay. Make a note of these instructions. Please. Make a note of these instructions. Okay. So verify transaction type linked to the partner procedure. So I go to configuration. You go to transition type with a good basic settings. Define transition type. You go to position, you go to transaction type G015, you go to details here, so if you see this transaction with G015 is linked to the pattern procedure G01, so G001 is standard procedure is there. Now we have to review part and procedure definition. So we go back. We go back. We close that. We go to basic functions. We go to partner processing. And here we go to define part and procedure determination. This is the procedure which we're talking about. We select that. 
these are the cardinal functions in this procedure. If I uh, create quotation again, If I go back and create a quotation, if I go to partner, so we have one, two, three, four, five. So it will shift to build to pair. Why we have five? If you go back here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you go in the drop down, you see all the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But five is only appearing. Why five only appearing? Because if you go back here, only five are assigned to excess sequence. Two are not assigned to any excess sequence. Therefore, system cannot determine them. Now here, the sales employee is one is mandatory. That is why here for the sales employee, it's coming as an error. Because here, sales employee minimum one is required. Maximum you can have a five. Minimum you require five, one. And because this is not there, and it's not there because it's not assigned to excess sequence. That is why they're coming a error message. So if we look at it, if we select, if I copy, and if I go to procedure, copy all, create a procedure, We can figure a new partner procedure. In this partner procedure, which we can figure, so let's say I don't want employee responsible, I remove it. I don't want uh, sales employee, I remove it. And uh, I have a sales representative copy, and I want a new partner, let us say. Is clock. So now we have a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we save it. So we have partner determination procedure. I want to assign this partner determination procedure. So we go back. So this partner determination procedure. Should be linked to a transaction type. So G zero fifteen copy procedure. Save it. Enter. Now I want to create a new quotation with this transaction type and see if uh, this partner function appear or not. If I go back.
now that error message is not coming because I removed the sales employee the mud partner function. And if you see here, we have a six sold to, ship to, bill to, payer, sales manager, sales clerk. Okay, so that is how we uh, configure the partner function. So thank you all. This is what I want to plan to do today and talk to you next week. I guess. Yes, configuration is same. Same as PRM.